Michigan. Had uh, big hopes and dreams of uh, making it to PA, but it was about it was too far. Got sleepy eyed, and I was like, "Man, I ain't gonna make it." So I stopped in Michigan. So, so in the morning, uh, we're gonna start from scratch. Uh, they say there's still some turkeys around. Been plenty of turkeys this year, so mild winter they said turkeys did well so hopefully we'll be able to put our ears on one in the morning and uh we'll just have to we just had to do it the old-fashioned way just get in there hear him and go go get with him that's, that's what tomorrow's going good morning everybody i feel chipper because i got a shower yesterday at the truck stop so i'm feeling good it was way overdue for shower day we're cleaned up we're going in to uh, listen over a piece of ground here in Michigan. We're going to just uh, go get over it, put our ears on it, listen to it, and see if uh, anything's gobbling this morning. I think it's going to be a real pretty day. So, if there's one in there, maybe he'll gobble at us. He'll slip across this big old field here. Oh, watch out, possum. Devil, I'm gonna whack you over the head on the way back out, alright? You ain't getting away. He won't be eating any more eggs. He just, uh, he's staying right there. He's gonna, unfortunate for him that he just bumped into me. But anyway, we're gonna ease down here and so we can put our ears on. The only bad part about this particular spot, there's a highway off to one side so that's kind of that interference noise that you're hearing probably but we're gonna get back here to the back so we can listen over this block of timber and see if we can't hear turkey gobble if we don't we'll be walking right back out and finding somewhere else to listen so day one in michigan see if we can't find one before I go to moving around. Because you know it seems like it's daylight, this late season stuff, these turkeys start late, typically. From my experience, it, it seems like turkeys should be gobbling right now, and typically early season they would be, but this late season stuff is a little bit lethargic. I think it's just the days are so long. The breeze is getting up, but I just heard a turkey gobble all the way across this field back where I parked on that corner of the field, and he's on that side. Yeah, I'm hearing him over, but he's a long ways over. I don't know if I can get all the way across. I almost think I can just walk straight across this wide open field and get across there. I don't know for sure. It's like there's so much background noise you can't ever be sure how far across there he is. I think I'm going to get back and try to get some little finger of timber that sticks out in the field. I'm going to try to get down this edge, get that finger of timber between he and I, and then cut across. He may be on the other side of the road. It's just a just a little dirt road. Um, there's all kind of turkey sign. Once they got daylight, I can notice on the back of the field there, scratching, droppings, feathers. So the turkeys are out and about around this area. But I've only heard that one. And he's back up here toward the road. So maybe we can get in this timber here and buckle down and find him. We slipped straight across and got over here in this block of timber. I don't know. The turkey gobbled about maybe 10 times. I mean, he gobbled like he was gonna get with it. 
It's just that he was not on the edge of hearing. You could hear him well when he gobbled. It's just that there wasn't nothing between you but air, so it seems like he'd have probably been further than you think he was. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, just, just throwing darts at a map right now. I just kind of know he was in this area. Started slipping. the road so I'm gonna keep pushing and get right to the road and maybe do a little yelping across the road is pretty decent timber same property owner but there ain't none of these big fields so I'm just gonna keep slipping see if we can't put our ears on him I'm sure he's on the ground now probably just strutting around doing what turkeys do, probably pecking a little bit, maybe even clucking. set up we'd have this little bitty tree but we're in a bunch of briars and blackberry and stuff and pretty decent height I think we're stuck back in the woods so if the turkeys following the field edge we want to shoot through stuff but there's a road we're right on top of the road which is not like a paved or county road or anything it's just like an old two track mostly just a glorified driveway so the turkeys shouldn't have an issue coming through it but the turkey gobbled two times at the call. Thinking I'm hearing a hen yelp with him, pretty sure, I'm about positive. But he gobbled two times at the call. The second gobble was definitely pointed toward us. I don't know if it was closer, I just think it was pointed toward us. So we're fixing to try to engage him again, see if he gobbles, see what happens. I just wanted to go ahead and get all this, you know, this circus that I got with me here set up before I went to yelping some more. So let's see what happens.
Thursday. The turkey gobbled two times at the call. I had to hit him pretty hard both times to get him to gobble. But the second gobble was kind of pointed toward us, so that's why I kind of buckled down when I got sat down here in this stuff. But yelped at him now, he's not gobbling. Fairly certain I heard a hen yelping. As I approached, and then when I called, I'm fairly certain I heard a hen yelping back to me, so I think that's what's going on. I don't know. I can't really put together a picture in my mind right now. He's going to have to give me more than he has. But for now, I'm just going to sit here for probably at least 45 minutes and see see what happens here. I'm not going to, I may call a time or two, but mostly I'm just going to be doing some sitting and waiting and seeing if whatever he's got going on over there transpires a little bit. And I mean, they shouldn't want to come out of that timber into these fields. It's, I mean, they've obviously been here. This is where people have seen them. This field, you can tell the duff has been scratched from where I just walked with a little bit of walking field. It's feathers dropping. So they should be wanting to come this way. Yeah, over there. She popped back at me a couple times again. <coughs> Got one in the same place. See them way out through there. Bunch of Jakes. I see a strut turkey. I can't tell. I'm looking at him through the limbs. I can't tell if he's got a full fan or not. is a full friend. There's one up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, there's a pile of jakes. Like, twelve.
right, so I'm, I'm, I'm buckled back down here. Ended up laying eyes on, I swear I think it's like 10 jakes or more. And one long bearded strutting turkey. I'm assuming there's probably a hen or so in the mix. I kept thinking I heard a hen. But they disappeared like that. There's a big dip between us, me and them. And uh, they're just slowly f kind of feeding and doing their thing and kind of flanking left, which ain't good. But if they do flank left, I think I can loop back around and get in front of them. But I'm gonna stay right here for right now. Uh, they were paying attention to the call. He gobbled at the call a handful of times, so we'll see. Man, he about got away cause of Dame Jakes. Golly. Whew. I'm talking about a pile of Jakes. And he brought his head up like he had kind of smelled a rat. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Whew. I thought when them jokers came down in that hole and I lost them, because I was doing a different, I was, I was, I was juggling between, once I laid my eyes on them, I was juggling between videoing them, looking at my binoculars, trying to figure out what was going on. I don't know how many jakes that was, it was a pile of jakes. I'm talking over 10, I'm pretty sure. There were so many redheads across there, and he came out, I watched him strut right here. And then I was watching the viewfinder of the camera getting things situated. And when you do that, you're watching the viewfinder, so you're only seeing what turkeys are in the viewfinder. When I eased my head back around, the hen, there was one hen, best I could tell. And a bunch of jakes were already kind of on me. I saw the long beard coming. And he got in a hole. And I kind of eased my gun and, and he kind of sniffed something. He knew something was up. So I just kind of went ahead and went to kill him. When I brought my gun up, one of them dang jakes got right in line. He smelled a rat and started to exit. And I had to sit there and wait on that him to walk far enough away from that jake to kill him without killing a whole passel of jakes. But we got us one. On day one in Michigan, how about that? Starting from nothing. There's our little hide in that little nest right there. That's the big old tree we had our back on. Just kicked me out a little hole here. It worked. I had to track my shell hole down. It's one of them things. 
I like finding my seal hole and the minute you start stepping around and stomping on stuff, they have a way of getting buried. Mr. Big over here in the field, let's go look at him. Right under what he was looking into, right there's the white tree that they, I was looking around. See the gun propped up there. So they were looking into a maze of junk, but they had smelled a rat because I went to dealing with this camera. But this is what we collected. Oh my goodness gracious. There's something about Michigan and spurs. There's just something about it. My goodness, that's a long spurred turkey. This one is broke. This one is not. Jesus. What a spur on that turkey. Lord of mercy, it's so sharp you could sew with it. God almighty, he's a big old heavy turkey. Goodness gracious, what a turkey. Big old thick beard. There's something about these Michigan turkeys just always seem to be big. Big, big, like next level big. y'all watched Penhody Project 22 we finished our season in Michigan and killed a big old turkey for the last one of the season I'm not much of a quality turkey management kind of advocate um, but whatever Michigan's doing is, is one bird states is what it is these turkeys get old it's hard for an Alabama, Georgia, Mississippi turkey to get that old I like opportunity more than I do size myself, so I'd just rather keep having to hunt a little harder and shoot smaller turkeys. Because we're in it for the experience, but I tell you what, it is sure a neat little thing. Oh, God. Oh. I didn't mean to hit y'all with a mid-episode wardrobe change or anything. I didn't mean to pull a Carrie Underwood on y'all and just come out in a different outfit ever clip, but got to the truck. Kind of hurried to the truck. It was only a couple hundred yards away when we killed a turkey and it clouded up and I mean, you can hear the breeze. I mean, it got breezy, got cold. I thought it was fixing to rain, so I was like, man, I wanted to get some snapshots, I wanted to get some pictures of the turkey, so I went ahead and did that. And, uh, man, it's got flipping cold, so I ended up having to put on another hoodie, put on my little beanie, and make it manageable. Anyway. Oh, we could have ourselves a cigar. Because I don't want to just toss him in the truck and move on down the road. That just ain't the way we, that ain't our style. So we're going to prop him up here, smoke us a stogie, and chat about the morning, which was quite eventful. Hey, we appreciate you guys joining us for this video. If you like this one, you'll probably like the next one. I'll leave it up here in the corner. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along with us. We'll leave our social media links down in the description below. That's also where you'll be able to find links on the turkey calls we use and the apparel we wear and that kind of stuff. So you can find that in that little drop-down description below. And uh, as always, we sure appreciate you guys following along.